Hello and welcome back to Byron's Adventures, and we are in Kuzade Kane territory once again. So as you can see right here, we're actually in a very advantageous position. I actually just persuaded Kalatild herself to join our faction. And as you can no doubt tell, that means that Tile, which is what we actually ended up taking beforehand and giving it to her, has now changed hands once again which I am very, very pleased about. So what we're going to be doing very quickly here is giving her a lot of support, giving her a lot of influence and things like that. And I'm hopeful that that will um, make a bit of a difference in her maybe staying with us. Don't really know. She didn't require any persuading. I mean, like, she didn't require any additional money. I know that someone in the comments actually mentioned that if a clan requires money, to be persuaded then it's more than likely that they're going to end up leaving so i'm actually pretty happy with that piece of information because that means that i can be a little bit more prepared about whether i want to spend a lot of money or not on people actually joining us and um oh yeah also also i know that i have a lot of fiefs but I, I don't believe I'm actually able to give these fiefs to anyone else at the moment. I don't think I can actually do that. Um, if, I, if I could, I would much rather a different clan other than the Beartilled clan had a couple more fiefs. Because if that means that they're going to stay with us for a much lengthier period of time, then that just makes all the difference. Actually, you know what? We do have fiefs here that maybe I can... Uh... Ah, here we go. Ah, wait a minute. Oh, okay. You cannot annex a ruling clan's settlement. So in, in other words, I still cannot give this to someone else. Bring forward the proposal to give the settlement to someone else. I, I think I should be able to do that, in my opinion. I feel like I should have the ability to do that, considering we are the king of our very own faction. It does make sense for us to be able to do that. But unfortunately, uh, at the moment, that doesn't seem to be happening. So technically, what I could then do is I could propose that... I want Onika Castle, for example, and I want to be able to take that from this guy, and then Onika Castle could potentially uh, go to someone else, but I don't really see the necessity in doing that. Anyway, I have actually been in pursuit of Mr. Olek. Mr. Olek right here. I'd like to be able to talk to him, if at all possible. Yes, it seems like we are actually able to do just that, and I am going to attempt to persuade him as well here we go all right so we got a critical success right here yes i knew i knew we were going to get that certainly knew that okay so we've got a 91 percent chance there we go and then we will have a 61 percent it's it's i don't know what it is but every single time i come to this particular area i never get the 61 percent chance i'm never lucky in that regard but uh-huh he is going to need some cash. He needs all my cash, actually. Which is... <laughs> not going to happen, I'm afraid. That is not going to happen, Mr. Olek. I will not be able to give this to you. I actually want to see... Does he have anything? He owns one castle. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to be offering you anything, sir. I will just instead be fighting you in battle or may, may, shall we shall we fight them as you can see we actually have an overwhelming power differential here and we should be theoretically able to win so let's try it out why not why not i mean <laughs> we need to weaken the kuzade carnate even further don't we before we make peace and bear in mind that i'm not entirely sure if we will make peace at this point because a number of people have actually suggested in the comments that I start executing people. And yeah, that might actually be something that we end up doing, but at the moment I would like to try and stay away from that as much as I possibly can, because I have done the execution path with Mr. Barney himself, the first one, and um, didn't really want to do that again, because it does make everyone basically hate you. And I mean, I know, I know you can get some mods actually that reduce the amount of honor, honor, you know, uh, problems that you might have from it. But I kind of don't want to be in a situation where I need to use anything like that. So 
maybe maybe it will happen at some point i'm not entirely sure but at the moment oh dear okay this is this is problematic gonna have to tell my um people to charge in right here because i might very well end up dying but you can see just how incredible my forces are at the moment they are literally tearing them apart so incredibly easily i need to do some damage here with my spear if i can maybe uh Try and get out. No, never mind. I'm getting run down. Oh, hello there. Yeah, you want you you want to fight? You want to fight? That's not gonna work, sir. That is not gonna that is not gonna work. I have an amazing shield. You will never be able to defeat the monster that is Mr. Byron. And oh, look at that, 53 damage. Nice. Okay, we we're still to, yeah we're starting to get a little bit overrun here, but that is okay because we do have the ability to uh, defend ourselves. As we no doubt can tell, you know, Byron is actually pretty good with his spear, amazingly enough. Because obviously, if you know me from my other series, I'm not that good in melee combat. I, I don't know what it is. I, I'm pretty decent with one-handed weapons, but I am not very good at, um, well, other things. So, uh, yeah, anyway. Oh, nice, nice, good damage, good damage. Okay, let's tell my uh, archers to charge in now so that they can get into uh, effective range, even though it's probably not even necessary, to be honest. And I'm going to get out my bow here. And, uh, oh yeah, someone actually asked me when I swapped out my bow. Yeah, I actually swapped that out because auto, uh, auto equip, you know, the, um, the thing that gives me um, suggestions, basically, about what I should replace, actually did give me a suggestion to replace my bow, so I thought, okay, let's do it, you know, let's do it, it must be a better bow, and it seemed to actually be quite good, so I'm just gonna stick with it. Oh, uh, it also gave me a new quiver as well, and the new quiver is actually really nice, because it gives me three pierce instead of zero blunt, and uh, personally, I feel like zero blunt is great if you want to take prisoners, but I'm not really in that business at the moment. I'm not really in that business at all. So it's going to be very nice to uh, be able to use piercing again. And uh, personally, I feel like piercing might do more damage. Uh, I think it really depends on the number before the, um, before the type of damage that you're actually going to be able to do. So, for example, zero blunt is not that damaging in comparison to 3 ps but maybe that's just me maybe i maybe i'm maybe i'm not really knowing exactly what's going on there but anyway there you go that's indeed a victory for us we gained 180 renown wow pretty crazy and 92 influence very nice and we can also take all of these guys prisoner which is exactly what we will be doing bear in mind that i um have not unfortunately been able to reinstall the prisoner taking mod so we will just have to deal with the vanilla way of doing things at the moment which i gotta say i'm a bit disappointed by because i personally feel like the way that it works right now in the native game is a little bit maybe not conducive to what we're trying to do here anyway the point is is that hopefully i will be able to recruit a bunch of these guys and wow huge amounts of uh, imperials oh wait a minute wait a minute i probably won't be able to recruit this guy oh no i can it's a tier four mm, okay nice nice okay i'm happy with that and uh, oh yeah <laughs> uh there were a lot of technical difficulties i didn't mention this at the beginning or anything like that but i had a lot of technical difficulties i was having problems with the game itself it wasn't actually a problem with any of my mods it was literally a problem with the game itself and it was giving me a, 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 an issue with an asset a particular file in the game files and it was basically saying that this asset was corrupted and i needed to you know verify my game cache and i did that and i tried loading it up again and it gave me the exact exact same error every single time and so what i had to do was reinstall my entire game, which of course is not exactly a fun pastime considering it's such a massive game as it is. It's literally, what is it? It's like 56 GB or something like that. So it took a couple of hours for me to do that. But anyway, it's done. It's finished. It, you know, we're, we're all good again. We're not getting any errors or anything like that. So I'm very happy with that. Otherwise, uh, we have a lot of loot 
a lot of loot as you can see so i'm gonna be able to sell that for a tidy profit and as you can see calatild and sylvind are defeating that guy and have actually taken him prisoner which is very good there's all boss hello all boss and there's monchug with over a thousand units and there's who, who who's that over there who is that over there actually Ah, they're actually attempting to take Loshana Castle. I would like to go and persuade Godun. I think that could be quite advantageous for us. Kalatil, don't get murdered. Oh, that's actually Sylvan, never mind. But anyway, hopefully they won't get murdered by the time that I get over here. Batania has actually declared war against us once again, which is actually not very good. And I'm going to continue gaining... <laughs> I mean... This money, literally, 1600 uh, Yeah, the other mod really does give you massive benefits. Being able to negotiate your own prices is very, very important in my opinion. But anyway, let's go in and speak to this guy. Gonna try and... Oh, I don't want to help him. I mean, I don't want to help the castle. Uh, do I want to help the castle? I guess... Uh, you know what? Wait, 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 wait. We're not going to do that just yet. We're not going to do that just yet. Because what I would like to do is wait a little bit just for my forces to kind of recover a little. Oh. Yeah, that didn't really work out too well, did it? Uh, okay, well. Okay, fine. I guess we'll just go in and we'll see what we can do. Um, not entirely sure how this is going to work. But we have about the same power level. Uh, are we doing a siege defense? No, we're not doing a siege defense, as I thought. It is actually a, a field battle. I really wanted to do a siege defense because I, I personally feel like we haven't done that many of those. I know that Barney did a couple, but they're pretty rare, actually. They're kind of rare to have them actually happen because the AI is quite smart in how it does things, so it generally tends to stay away from risky situations and that's exactly what's going on most of the time and as a result you're not going to be able to you know experience those really really fun siege defenses but i guess it's realistic you know it's kind of realistic in that sense as well because you're obviously not going to then see you know massive amounts of you know siege defenses in uh, in real life either i mean you might see a couple but obviously then the um, it's basically down to the wire you know it's pretty much down to who thinks they can achieve victory and uh, it's going to be a lot of deaths it's going to be a lot of deaths uh, is it just me or am i doing no damage oh there we go i was actually thinking to myself i'm doing no damage with my current pole arm and uh, that kind of made me question whether i should have even replaced it to be honest because it is um shorter than my previous one and that is uh, maybe preventing me from actually doing quite a bit of, um, well, just generally everything. You know, quite a bit of damage and, and speed and, you know, all kinds of things. But I thought that having a shorter one might actually help us to win in actual um, close quarters combat. Because obviously having a longer pole arm is going to make things very, very difficult for us. Now I'm thinking, shall we go into a circular formation here? I'm actually not sure. Uh, we're losing a bunch of recruits at the moment. These guys are so incredibly good. I mean, we know how good they can be because they are... Oh, they're actually Azurai. Oh, look at that. Yeah, a couple, a couple of Azurai, a couple of Kuzate. But these guys... Oh, really? That shrubbery was able to stop me? Are you serious? Okay, that's kind of hilarious. I did talk about, in that, uh, talk, talk about that in the previous episode where I just got stopped by the smallest tree known to man. And uh, that... Yeah, that was kind of amusing. But uh, anyway, I am now going to be knocked off my mount, but that's okay. Because I am in the thick of things, and I should be able to do quite a bit of damage. There we go. Oh, nice damage, actually. Nice damage. Very good. Okay. And I'm going to tell my uh, infantry to charge in. I am going to tell everyone else to charge in as well. Let's tell my uh, archers to charge in too, so that they can actually start doing some damage. Okay, let's block... Nice, take him down, very good. Okay, now I've got to be a bit wary about what's going on here. Let's take out that guy. Got to be a bit careful of the cavalry, of course. And I'm down, I'm down. All right, so I'm actually thinking, shall we, uh, 
Shall we retreat here? It seems like we need to. I actually wonder whether we're going to even be able to retreat at this point because I am wounded. Oh, I can actually retreat. Oh, that's that's actually kind of interesting. Okay, I did not anticipate being able to retreat, but it seems like they will be able to take the castle. I actually wanted to speak to them. Um, all things considered, Karath got taken prisoner? Are you serious? I'm actually really surprised that he got taken prisoner right there. But anyway, um, we're gonna, just going to wait here, pretty much. We're just going to wait here. Mysaia has been besieged, but that's okay. I actually want to just speak to him, if at all possible. Can you wait? Can you come back here, sir? I would very much appreciate it. Because um, if I can try to persuade him either to join us or to make peace, I'll be pretty much happy with either one of those. So let's have a look here. 83% chance. Yeah, there we go. Good start. Good start. Now, what do you bet I'm going to get a 61% chance at some point along, along the way here? It's probably going to be the next one. Yep, 61% chance. Okay, yep, ineffective once again. Once again, always, always. I'm not entirely sure why that happens, but there you go. The final one is a critical success, and we have convinced him. But it is going to take him a lot of cash. Or not, as the case may be. It's actually not even taking him that much cash. It's only taking him about this, which is pretty good. So I will be giving him that. And we're going to gain some calculating, of course. And we have also... Um, we kind of persuaded him to join us, and now he is going to get murdered by the various people nearby. But that's okay, because I can now speak to Ullman, and I will hopefully be able to ask him... Ah, Akram. Okay, our realm should make peace. Okay, so let's have a look here. How much is he... Is he oh, yep, this is going to be an absolute bargain. Absolute bargain right now. 230... Yep, 235,000... And I am perfectly happy to make peace right there. Very, very happy to make peace because we're at war against the Batanians. And, uh, well, actually... Mm, yeah, probably not the best idea, but here's the thing. I can't really do anything about it, you know? I can't really do anything about it because we would have died here if I had decided to go in against these guys, it would be way, way too damaging, and Mysaia was actually under siege once again by Monchug's massive army, so I kind of wanted to prevent that from happening as well. So, there's a wide variety of reasons why it would be a better idea for me not to um, not to uh, continue the war effort. But anyway, plus six arrows per quiver, or bow aiming accuracy increases to max 10% faster. I'm pretty happy with the six extra arrows. I'm, I'm actually wondering whether I already spec'd into this. I think I already spec'd into this previously, but uh, I think I might have had a crash or something like that, so that's probably the reason why we're seeing that again. Anyway, there we go. We've got some level ups. Very nice indeed. Oh yeah, I still need to... Yeah, that's the thing. I had a look at the party management mod, and personally, I think it's so cool. I think it is really, really cool to be able to level up everyone at the same time. Um, but I think it might have some problems with improved garrisons, which is the uh, the current mod that I'm using for automated garrison recruitment. So I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be able to use the party management mod, which would be fantastic. I, I think it's a very cool... Uh, it has some very cool functionality. But here's the thing. Now I'm going to have to be very careful here... Svana has been taken prisoner by the... What? Why Why has she been taken prisoner? That's kind of weird, considering we're not at war against them anymore, but I suppose they were already in a, a fight against each other or something like that. Aha! Hello, Barney. I will be speaking to you, sir, because you are running around with literally nothing. Literally really bad units, as you can see. He literally has 19 Imperial recruits. That is not going to do for you, sir, whatsoever. So we're just going to be giving you a whole bunch of good units and uh, that's actually decent but I should probably give him some more so let's give him some palatine guards and there we go okay that should be good enough for him hopefully he's going to be able to recuperate those in a short span of time and I'm not going to head to Argoron because that's not actually my fief anymore I keep forgetting that that's not my fief considering that was actually the first thing that we took wasn't it I think that was the first thing that we took to create our own faction anyway uh, we have some Ooh, that's Joron. I would like to fight Joron if at all possible, because I'm pretty sure that he's going to be kind of 
Well, I think he has a lot of money. So it would be cool to do that. And eliminate him. Actually, you know what? I should have just spoken to him and made peace with the Northern Empire. That probably would have made more sense. Oh, well, my bad, my bad. Okay. Uh, we do have a couple of these guys. They can t potentially join us as well, which is actually quite nice. And uh, we can just take a bunch of loot. All right. So I'm actually going to speak to this guy. Olitha, Olitha of the Brotherhood. I will attempt to speak to him if I can catch up to him, of course, because they are going to move pretty fast, considering they have such small parties. And I will help the villagers. And unfortunately, I will have to defeat him. I didn't want to have to do that. Um, but I guess taking him prisoner is a pretty good idea anyway. You know, having these vassals in reserve is always a good idea. Um, but unfortunately, because I don't have that mod anymore, I'm not going to be able to, um, you know, gain the, the really, really good deals. But that's okay. We're just going to have to deal with it for the moment. Anyway, otherwise, let's head into Diathma because I do have a lot of loot. I have a lot of loot to sell. And I can just literally sell that for 9,000. It may not seem like a lot, but that is a lot. Look at that. 47,000. Actually crazy. And... I'm going to let everyone else do some other things here. So as you can see, Yana, Pelasora, and so on and so forth are going to be equipping some additional stuff. And I'm just going to sell the last remaining little bit of our gear here to offset some of the money that we're spending. And Oh, wow. There's actually a lot of these. Okay, yeah, I probably want to do this. There we go, there we go, there we go. Try and reduce the cost as much as we possibly can. And there we go. Okay, so we're only paying 59,000. That's actually kind of amazing. That is pretty good because we just gained upgrades for pretty much every single person. Well, not every single person, but quite a few people in our army, which is very nice. And now I have about 200 units ready for fighting. So what I'm going to do... Oh, Yara is actually here. Come and join me, Yara. There we go. And let's go into the garrison here. Okay, so you can see here that we have some Palatine Guards. We've got some other, other people here as well. I'm going to be taking the Palatine Guards, I think. And we'll take these guys as well. And the mounted units too. As well as the heavy horse archers, of course. Those guys are going to be coming in mighty handy. And then we have some Legionnaires here. As well as some other people. So we've got about 300 units. Which I think is pretty good. To go and fight um against the Batanians. I do want to speak to this guy if at all possible. I'd like to speak to both of them, but unfortunately I'm moving so slowly. Oh, hello. He's He's doing some weird stuff right there. Not entirely sure what he's doing, but he's doing some weird stuff. He's actually allowing me to catch up to him every so often as well, which is kind of hilarious. I'd like to speak to Aldrich if at all possible. So I'm actually going to give up the uh, pursuit here. And Aldrich is going to be someone that I really 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 want to speak to. He is going to be a very nice ally for us if I can actually um, have him join us. Uh, now let's let's actually just take a look here. I need to make sure that everyone is doing pretty well. Ah, yeah, I need to give this guy some additional um, support here. Oh, they actually own Vanavapol as well. That's actually hilarious. Ah, uh, yeah, that's really good. Okay, we'll just continue to give him some support until he gets to above 200. I just aim to get everyone near 200 influence just so that they have the option to do whatever they want to do if they want to do something. So in other words, making an army or something like that. Anyway, as you can see, the Northern Empire is actually gaining strength back, mainly because most of the mercenary bands are joining them, which is not exactly great, is it? No, it's not exactly great. Then we have Batania here who has 14,000 strength. Now... The Kingdom of Byronia did actually get to about 13,000 strength, but unfortunately, a lot of the vassals left, as you no doubt saw in the previous episode. And the Kuzate has 12,000. The Azerite are actually gaining a little bit of strength as well. The Sturgeons are done, as they always are for some reason. And Vlandia has 14,000. So if I can get Aldric and have him actually um, stay with us, then we will be in a great great position. So let's have a look here. What do you think of your liege? Aha, 94% chance. He seems to be um, pretty likely to join us. Wow. Yeah. Okay, and then we got the 61, and that is actually successful. Very nice indeed. Okay, so 
I think he is, yeah, he's going to need money. I don't think I'm going to be able to, no, not in a million years. Not in a million years. Not unless this guy has anything to do with it. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah. If I give him everything I have, as you can no doubt see here, he literally, yeah. So now that's the problem, you see. That is indeed the problem. What I would like to be able to do in those situations is trade fiefs or at the very least give him a fief or, or basically promise to give him a fief as soon as possible. I think that would be a really nice addition to the game to uh, kind of make it a little bit easier to um, enact diplomacy and things like that, you know, to, to actually get diplomatic measures implemented is going to be very important later down the line, especially considering most of the battling is actually done off the field, you know? And it's the same thing, well, most of the time, I guess, in real life as well. So pretty realistic. And there we go. All right. So unfortunately, that is a problem. Um, I guess. I mean, it's not really a problem, so to speak. But, oh, wow. Whoa, we've, whoa, we've got a big army. Did you see that? We've got a big army running around right there. That's, very, that's actually pretty nice. Okay. Anyway, we're just going to be clearing out this hideout really, really fast because, well... I want to get the notables relation increases, and I don't fight duels with brigands. I'm going to go in there and do some damage. Ah, oh, look at that. 64 damage to his arm. That was actually pretty good. And there you go. Easy, easy victory. It's literally for nothing other than, you know, being able to... Uh, uh, oh, these are, these are actually pretty good. Yeah, those are actually pretty good. Yeah, someone actually needed those. That's, that's hilarious. Okay, so, uh, yeah. That is that. Uh, I would like to be able to make peace, if at all possible, with the Batanians, but it is highly unlikely that that's going to happen. So I'm just going to allow my forces to do whatever it is they want to do at the moment. As you can see, I have Hecard, and we have um, Sarandon running around with a pretty significant army each, which is going to be very fun to, uh, to watch, i got to say. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to travel to Kuzay territory. All right, so there was actually something that I wanted to do here very specifically. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do it uh, because I've um, not really had the... I don't have the right army composition. That's literally it. That's the only thing that I haven't done here. And uh, I thought that maybe I would be heading over here. Um, to see if I can maybe do something against the Batanians. So I thought, hey, you know what? Maybe I'll just keep my army. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be very conducive to my current objective. My current objective was to fight step bandits, as many as I could get my hands on. And unfortunately, that is not really going to work with 316 units, because if you see here, if I uh, let the game just run... It is, they're not going to attack me. Even if I go close to one of their hideouts, it's its just not going to work, as you can see. They do come close, but that is going to be no cigar for me, because that means that, well, its it just doesn't work. I'm just too slow, you know? I'm just too slow, and I won't be able to catch up to them at any point, which is, in my opinion, very, very disappointing. But that's okay. That's fine. Because... You know, that, that's just how it goes. That is just how it goes. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go into Sturgeon territory, or what was once known as Sturgeon territory. What's going on here with Yana, by the way? Why is she running around with such a small amount of people? Is it because she has no food? I think she has no food at the moment. That's actually not very good. There's a lot of people getting taken prisoner now as well, which i got to say is not exactly great. Uh, do you, do you, do you need, do you need any food? Can I, can I give you food even? I, I can give her some cows. There you go, you can, you, what, why, why can't, why can't you take, uh, why can't you take these cows? Okay. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure why the, why the, the whole trading thing doesn't actually work most of the time. Oh well, never mind, never mind. That is absolutely fine. Nothing really to worry about there because she will go into the town, she'll hopefully get some food, and then her people will start recuperating. But yeah, Godun has been... Uh, well, he was taken prisoner, but now he has been released. And 
I actually would like to see what's going on at Sibir here. Wow, only 413 units. I would probably be able to take this relatively easily. Um, oh yeah, by the way, the reason why I wanted to go and uh, take Step Bandit's prisoner is for the ability to upgrade them into noble units. And you can imagine how fantastic and extremely powerful that would be. And the only reason why I'm able to do that is, of course, my leadership skill. And the leadership skill, as far as I'm aware, is... Wait a minute, where is it now? There we go. You are able to revert bandits into regular troops. In other words, you can turn them from step bandits into the noble units of the Kuzate. As far as I'm aware, that's 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 how it goes. I'm actually just going to go over to the troops here. And we're going to have a look at the Kuzate. So if you take a look here. Uh, hmm, you know what? Actually, I'm not going to do that. We're going to have a look at step bandits instead just so that we can exactly see what's going on here. So, for example, raiders, they will become these guys, you see? They will become those guys, and marauders are the guys that will level from marauders into raiders and then into these these fellows right here, and they are insanely good, as you can no doubt tell. They are insanely good. The step bandits themselves will level from step bandits into marauders into raiders and then into these guys that was the main reason why i wanted to do that they could also level from step bandits straight into kuzate raiders and then into horse archers and then into heavy horse archers so if i didn't want khan's guards for some reason then i could uh, quite easily just level them up into heavy horse archers instead but anyway i think that's probably going to be it for this episode next time we're going to try and take on the batanians in sturgeon territory and uh, maybe, maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to take Sibia or Vanavapol for ourselves. I'm going to be probably awarding it to one of our new vassals, though. Do bear that in mind. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.